Yesterday, the Trudeau government rejected an NDP motion to decriminalize small amounts of cannabis before legalizing and regulating the plant next year. The government has just created massive confusion in the justice system. Judges are calling the situation absurd. While the government is talking legalization, the courts are being forced to convict. Even the Conservative Party now calls for marijuana possession to be removed from the criminal, criminal code. The Conservative Party. Why will this Liberal government continue to hand out criminal records to tens of thousands of mostly young Canadians instead of decriminalizing marijuana now? We're committed to legalization, strict regulation of marijuana. Simply decriminalizing will not achieve the objectives of keeping it out of the hands of children and the proceeds out of the hands of criminals. We have committed to introduce legislation in the spring of 2017. In that intervening period, we will engage with experts in the health area, public safety, justice, and law enforcement to ensure that we proceed in an orderly manner that will achieve the objectives that we are committed to achieving. Somehow they try to make the equation between a black market in marijuana and decriminalizing its use by individuals. I mean, that's just silly. I mean, that, that black market exists already. The only thing that would change if we were to decriminalize today is that young people would not be getting criminal records for simple possession of marijuana. That's the only change that we're talking about. Is it going to take time to deal with complicated issues like supply? Yes, it is. Are we willing to make that concession to a government that said it was going to uh, you know, legalize right away? Yes, because it is complicated. But I'm not willing to compromise on the fact, and we have these cases in our writings, that young people, mostly young people, it could be at different ages, but almost always young people across Canada, by the thousands, indeed the tens of thousands, are going to be carrying criminal records the rest of their lives. That'll affect their jobs. It'll affect their livelihoods. It'll affect their ability to travel. It just doesn't make sense. They've already signaled clearly that we're going to be legalizing. I think that that is a move that reflects the mood of society today. We'll be supporting that. But for heaven's sake, finish the job. Decriminalize right away. Let these young people continue their lives. And we should also include an amnesty for anybody who has been convicted of simple possession. That should be part of the package. We know marijuana is being consumed regularly across the land. Um, and I think it's just a, a fact of life that we can fix it now and then deal with the reform regime later. I'm focused on the victims, the heavy consequences. How do I explain to a mother from, Sask from Saskatchewan who writes me and says, I, my child is have forever affected by uh, this offense. They won't be able to get a job. They won't be able to uh, cross the border. They have difficulty in housing and all of these other things. For something that is going to be perfectly legal, the government has told us. We're simply saying as a preparatory step, as an interim measure, can't they do the right thing and address the obvious injustice that's occurring across this country. In my part of the world, it's very difficult to be charged with marijuana. The police don't take seriously possession of small quantities uh, in coastal British Columbia. But boy, is that different in other parts of the country. Is that just? It's a federal law. It's being applied so unevenly. We're spending $4 million a year to prosecute something that will be legal in a couple of years. Can't we do something to address that injustice in the interim? Or are we perfectly content, as Mr. Blair says, to let it be business as usual until that reform day occurs? And when it occurs, are they going to have an amnesty for people? Or are they going to pardon the hundreds of thousands of Canadians who, who by then will have a record and whose lives will be affected? I don't see why they can't take action right now. I don't see why they can't make a directive, send it to the people. It's, it's by, by coincidence, it's quite efficient. They have the same federal Crown Council that are the ones involved in enforcing this from coast to coast to coast. So it's quite simple for them to issue a directive to do the right thing and show Canadians that they're serious about this.